What up, everybody? Welcome to Bad Boy TV right here. It's your boy Diddy. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. But, um, I do got some um, Bad Boy Connects, though. Shout out to my Bad Boy Connects. Um, anyways, you know, I had to put the shades on. I had to get in my Diddy mode right now because I'm talking about the top moments. This is like the year of Bad Boy, basically. I'm talking about the year of Bad Boy, the good, the bad, the ugly, the what's coming in the future. So, um, here it is right now. You know, start off in January. When Danny D. King had the little poll on their website saying they about to come out with a new single, a new album, so they need to help choose the first single. Also, they had the same thing with, well, none they had that with Day 26, just had it with Danny D. King. And then, like, at the end of the month, both of their singles had came out. Um, they was doing radio promo tours. Um, they was in Philly. That was, like, a good experience. They was in Philly, you know, I got the chance to hang out with them and all that in Philly. And, um... Yeah, there was like at three radio stations in Philly, Q102, Power 99, and it's another station in Philly too, Q102, Power 99, and um, Wired, it was at Wired, yeah, so um, no, 100.3, 100.3 the beat, but um, yeah, you know, they were doing that and all that, the singles at first, when I was told slow start, like, um, you know, it wasn't really picking up for real like that. It wasn't until later on though, especially with Danny King's Damage that, you know, after the album came out like in May, that's when like Damage really started taking off. Day single started taking off. Day 26 got me going, started taking off. Um, oh, there's not a message again, but now they did that. Um, and the albums, you know, they had the new season of Making the Band 4 that came on, you know. Um, Recording their albums and stuff like that, you know, big season because Danny D. King was finally coming back. I mean, a lot of people had been wondering what was Danny D. King that what was going on because it was rumors that they had broken up and stuff, you know. So people had been wanting to know what was going on. So you know, it's got to show them that Danny King is back. They about to come back, do bigger things and all that. They had a little fight with Diddy, you know, with um, you know, with their label A and R, trying to you know get the direction of the album that they want, and they succeeded, you know, they got that, um, they trying to you know, they knowing the game and stuff like that, so, you know, they really took it, you know, they took it really well and stuff, um, then, my main concern was when the albums came out, the video should have been out before that, the single should have been released to the radio before that, but, Bad Boy have a special way of dealing with the making the band for a brand, um, like, they come out with the album, or well, they come out with the video like probably the week before the album and like they spend like six months on one single basically it's from what Diddy said but um like the videos for Damage didn't come out to like the week before the album came out and the Got Me Going video I think came out the week after the album came out or something like that so you know yeah that basically happened um what else um they be sound Janelle Monet in the process. She no, I'm just gonna talk about the making the band. I'm gonna talk about people in their own separate individualities. All right, making the band for all right. Then the second season came out. You know, Danny D. King, the album went gold real quick. You know, they sold 240 some thousand copies their first week, making them the first female group to debut at number one with their first album and their second album. So shout out to DK with that. And um, also um, Day 26 debuted at number one. They were basically like the first male R&B group to debut at number one in like a while, like probably since the Odyssey Brothers when they came out with that Body Kiss CD, that debuted at number one. So that was the last R&B CD to debut at number one for by male R&B group. So shout out to Day 26 for that. And um, then they went on the tour. I went to go see the concert in Baltimore. Amazing show. They did their thing, especially for newcomers to the game. They really did put on a great show for real. And um. You know, Donnie was in the situation too. Donnie was getting mixed in and out of the situation. You know, when is Donnie coming out? Was Donnie going to do this and that and all that? So, come to the season finale, making the band for you know. Y'all saw my video on that, how I felt about that. You know, Aubrey is no longer in the group. D was no longer in the group as well. So it's just Shannon, Andrea, and um, Shannon, Andrea, and Don. You know, people was calling Don the snitch, people were saying Don was manipulating the group so she had a solo career and stuff like that. I don't know what went on for real, because um, everything was fine and dandy before.
also people saying now that Shannon's throwing the party tonight. Actually, New Year's Eve, she's throwing the party tonight to celebrate her 2009. And celebrating 2009, that means she's about to. Uh, she said she's going to leave Danny Kane or something. That's what it says on the posters. I'm trying to find the poster right now, but on the uh, club promotion, it said that she's leaving Danny Kane, starting new 2009 and stuff like that. So we'll see what goes on with that. Day 26, they went on the European tour. I would expect they t Danny D. Kane to go on the European tour, but Day 26 went on. Um, they released their second singles. Um, Day 26 came out with Since You've Been Gone. Good drink right there. Danny D. Kane came out with Bad Girl with Missy Ali. That's video. The video was real crazy. The song should have been a big hit. It should have been a big hit, but it wasn't released to radio and then the whole promotion of things because of the whole situation. Austro on um, Danny Kane was nominated for three VMAs this year, and um, what else? What else? What else? And um, Day Twenty Six about to come out with the new single "Come With Me." You know the new season making the band four is coming on probably February, top of next year, top of '09. So you know you see the new season of making the band four. They actually started shooting it three weeks ago, so you know it's already underway and everything. Also um. Diddy, he signed Janelle Monae, um, you know, great artist right there, Many Moons was a great video, by the way, Alan Ferguson directed it, and Janelle Monae, she's just a crazy artist, so, gotta love her, Cassie, she came out with the, um, the Fisher Girl single, um, her album got pushed back and stuff like that, you know, there's a lot of rumors going around that, Cassie was Diddy's official girl and all that, so, you know, we still don't know what was good with that, but the video was hot though, Cassie looking mad good, Lil Wayne, he did the same on the remix, to a certain extent, and um, uh, Danger in the Clutch did their thing on the track. Um, what else went on in Bad Boy this year? Um, let me check this out. So basically, you know, the tour was real good. The singles, the DK drama, Donnie. Donnie was just an epic failure for real. Like, did he have all this? You know, he had all this. You know, he had all this. You know. I'm trying to find the right word to say it's stuck in my mind right now. He just had all this back between, I mean, all this, you know, energy behind Donnie. You know, Donnie was about to be the big thing and all that, but, you know, Donnie should have took a course in media training because there are certain things that Donnie said in interviews that turned people away. Like when he said, um, he was talking about Aubrey, he was talking records about Aubrey, and you know Aubrey got a big fan following already, so you know they had to get at him. And his album ended up being at number 19. Um, was it number 19? It was something like that. He basically didn't sell a lot though, and you know, he's off, he was off the charts like the next two weeks. And he's no longer on the charts as of right now too, so his single didn't do good because they came out with, shout out to Cortez, shout out to Soul Diggers, but he came out with Take You There, which is a song that came out <coughs> during the whole making the band for thing when Danny Kane and Day 26 came out with their singles. You know, Donnie had his song, but you know, if it's old song and it didn't do good the first time, I mean, sometimes a hot video can change that, but at the same time it can't. And really, in that video, they gave off a Justin Timberlake, Timberland feel from Sexy Back. So I mean, hey, but Donnie can do good. Um, but things to look out for in '09 though from Bad Boy, the Notorious soundtrack is coming out. The movie is coming out January 16th. You gotta check that out. Um, Brooklyn, We Go Hard by Jay Z and Santa Gold. That's the new single right now. Um, Gorilla Zoe Lost, the video just came out. Go get that Gorilla Zoe album, Don't Feed the Animals, coming out in March. Cat's new album's coming out. She got a new song that just came out called Summer Charm. It's not a single, but it's just a new song, just a little feel for what's about to come. Um, Day 26, going to the studio with Brian Michael Cox doing their new album. We'll see what's going on with the new Danny D. Kane. Janelle Monet's album finally comes out next year. Some new artists comes out on Bad Boy as well next year, too. Um, what else? Um, Diddy got a new show coming out too. Um, if y'all really heard about it, the rock show, the rock band show, um, that's going for come sooner, but um, come a little later on that. But also, I mean, Bad Boy just they had a good year this year, and you know, at the end of the year, things started to look a little down, but you know, it was sure to pick up when that new, when that new season of Making the Band Four comes on. So that was my. Review of the year of Bad Boy Records, Bad Boy Entertainment, take that, take that, and um, go pick up that new, oh, go pick up any CD, Danny Kane, Day 26.